What's up everyone? I recorded this video on Saturday, January 22nd, 2022. It's around 12, 15 p.m. and it's 26 Fahrenheit, negative three Celsius. And uh, I really don't have to worry too much about the weather today because I'm going to be exploring the United States second largest shopping mall, the American Dream in East Rutherford, New Jersey. I just took that bus over there to get here from the Port Authority bus terminal in New York City. And uh, the ticket was $9 to get here one way. The uh, New Jersey Transit operates a bus that comes here on the hour during the weekends and holidays. But uh, yeah, this mall is very impressive from what I have um, seen. It's developed by the Triple Five Group, and it's just four miles from New York City. There's uh, three million square feet of space in this mall, and they even have a water park, a theme park, a uh, snow area, ski resort, mini golf, and there's also, of course, many shopping and dining options inside the shopping mall. I do not really know what to expect here. Although if you were to drive here, it looks like there's plenty of parking right now. I know um, there were many threats of this mall not being able to make it due to the pandemic. And this mall has been uh, in development for quite some time. It only opened in 2019, so uh, very recently. Please use side doors, okay. Wow, uh, it is definitely spacious in here. I like the high ceilings. And uh, I know that they've been uh, through multiple owners. Some of them have even um, gone through financial difficulties and there was threats to the mall not being able to open but it's here now is this a touch screen can we see no no touch screen take a look at this chandelier I think uh, most of you are maybe interested in the theme parks and the water park and stuff, so I'll go this way first, because this is um, new for me. I've never been to like a theme park or a water park or anything inside a shopping mall before. Uh, before. The largest shopping mall in the United States is the Mall of America. That one I've heard many things about. Oh my goodness, this mall is something else. I think I may be coming here more often after just seeing like the first four or five minutes of this mall. Let's see, do they have a marker where we are? You are here or anything? Okay, I think we came from this side. Oh, here we are. Wow, look at that. Okay. I think I'll stick to the first floor at first. They have an interesting set of decor. Nice chairs. And they've got these like life-size pebbles that you could sit on.
I don't think the dining area is on this side. And I kind of have to remember where the bus dropped me off at because I need to go back there. another shopping mall level. This is just the parking area. Yeah, it is. Just the parking area. You could probably spend a whole day here easily just in the theme parks. Heck, maybe even a week. Some of these stores even still have their Christmas decorations up. This is trippy. I think I see one of the theme parks up ahead. And uh, they definitely need sponsors to open these theme parks. I think. Some of them are a Nickelodeon theme park. Another one is, um, is DreamWorks. I like the seating options inside this mall. They've got a lot of seating areas from couches to just um, general seats. Looks like up there is the dining area. You know, I'm not really too sure if this is a theme park or if this is just part of the decor of the mall. It may take us a while just to walk from one end of the mall to the other. You can easily get lost. That's why they have these information booths all over the place. What are you looking for? Big snow, angry birds, not so mini golf. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Exhibit. This is crazy. This is just part of the decor of the shopping mall. Wow. Feels like Alice in Wonderland here. A nice natural skylight too. like combination Valentine's Day and Christmas. Look at this. Yeah, our Valentine's Garden of Love.
What else are we going to find in this shopping mall? The decor is a 10 out of 10 in this mall, I have to say. Now I just wonder what this shopping mall looked like during the holidays. Looks like they reused some of it for Valentine's Day. And what is this? A wild ride? Marvel Adventure Lab. Dream Riders. $10 for 10 minutes. Oh, that's what it is. Wow. Well, that's fun. You just get to ride it in the main area. Yet another grand area. I'm lost in this shopping mall. If um, you're here in this mall, you better have a way to contact your friends if you uh, get separated from them because there's no way you can say, meet me in the mall and just wander around and find someone else. Because uh, you're gonna get lost very easily. There's also escape rooms in here too. There's a black light mini golf. Okay, DreamWorks Water Park is straight ahead that way. I don't know where the uh, the roller coasters are or the no area. Another land discovery area. Mini golf area and a maze. Van Leeuwen ice cream up there. I don't want to go this way though if uh, the snow area is close by, which I think it is, according to the map. Let's see, DreamWorks, Water Park, Nickelodeon Universe. Guess we'll go this way first. No, wait, Big Snow is that way. I think maybe on the top levels. I wanna be uh, efficient with my route through this mall, otherwise I'll be backtracking a lot. Oh, it's up there, I see. On the column, it says Big Snow. Thank you. 
unbelievable shopping mall. Big snow. All right, so over here, this is where the uh, indoor ski and snow area is. Looks like I can even buy a replacement heated glove here because I lost mine. They've got plenty of them. Yep, right here, I can get plenty of gloves. I'm definitely gonna stop by here when I'm uh, finished with the video and get something. Oh man, Big Snow is closed for renovations. No, but at least we get to see it. Look at this. Whoa, there's actual snow in here inside the shopping mall. Every day is a snow day. Unbelievable. The amount of uh, square feet that they need to make this is unbelievable. But let's go to uh, the water park now. I'm also getting hungry just uh, looking at all these pictures of food all over the place. Starbucks coming soon. I'm sure it'll do well over there. So yeah, if you have uh, some free time and want to play around in the snow or a theme park, you can do it just a few minutes away from New York City. I know I'm gonna be uh, coming back here again after seeing this. I don't know why I didn't come here earlier. Okay, Nickelodeon Universe and the DreamWorks water park up ahead. I think uh, their beach area is like the largest indoor uh, beach area in the United States. Looks like they're going to put more tenants in this hallway. I'm telling you, every single section of this mall has a different theme and decor. It really does feel dreamy in a way. Squid game. This feels like the children's section. Nickelodeon Universe. And here's the mini golf club. All Angry Birds themed. I'm not really sure uh, how popular Angry Birds is nowadays. I knew it was pretty viral when it came out, the app. Okay, I think we found uh, the theme park, Nickelodeon Universe. Look at all the people here. Oh my gosh, this must be uh, 
one of the most popular areas of the shopping mall. Okay, per session, $79, ages 10 plus, ages 3 to 9, 74. Not much of a discount for children. Military, 6715, senior citizen, 68. And Twilight from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. You get a discount of uh, 55. And you can skip the line at select attractions for $40. I know this Toys R Us store is pretty new. It recently opened. We got the giraffe here. Not too many Toys R Us stores here nowadays. All right, there's another section of the mall. Let's go into a Nickelodeon universe and see what this theme park is all about. My goodness. I can already tell you, my jaw is dropping right now just looking at this and the roller coasters in front of me. I'm in disbelief right now. There's the water park up that way. Looks like they're right next to each other. So it looks like I won't be able to go down there unless I have a ticket. But look at this. Unbelievable. There's small Ferris wheels, there's kitty rides, and there's even some pretty twisty roller coasters. This may be a fun area to come back to and do uh, live stream maybe with a chest mount if they allow it maybe the water park will be able to see uh, better DreamWorks water park I'm gonna ask, can I just go in just to look and come back? It's just right here, just a mount area. You don't oh, see it is? In a park. What is it? Oh, what is that? It's a tiny little camera. A what? A tiny little camera. I didn't see that. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> I'll check out the lounge area, I guess. Thanks. It's too bad they put like the. Uh, graphics over the window here. You can't see through it too well. But I can see glimpses of the pool. I'm pretty sure we'd be able to see something. Alright, I think we can. Is this solid? Yeah. There we go. Look at that. Wow. There's also slides. So ticket sales are this way. Looks like it's $89 for the water park for adults, um, 84, ages three to nine. Yeah, she's right. You won't be able to see much here. 
Even this area under the, uh, the ramp, you can't see much. All right, well, uh, unfortunately, you can't see much because of that graphic, but let me point the camera towards the window again. Wasn't really prepared for this video. I guess I'll find a spot where there's a not covered by the graphic and I'll take a Put picture of it. Oh, hi. hi. <laughs> Do the old put the phone up to the window trick and take some pictures like that. That'll work. Aha. How about this section? Oh, I see the beach area. I don't know if I can make it out. Let's see if I can do this with my iPhone here. Maybe I'll put a Zoom in. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Was able to get something. This is something else. I got something. I stuck my phone out the window there, over here. Kung Fu Panda Shrek. Look at this big thing of the Statue of Liberty. All right, where am I going? Thank you. Um, I guess we'll go to the rink now. Yes? How can I buy, where oh, can I buy one of those? I got it on Amazon. It's called the Pocket 2. Pocket 2? Yep. An Amazon Pocket 2? Yep. It's That's a, a camera. D DJI Pocket 2. DJI Pocket 2. DJI Pocket 2. Thank you. I okay. really like it, man. It's Thank so you. good. It's the best camera. Oh, gosh. <laughs> wow. I think, uh, the skating rink area is the last like major theme park in this shopping mall. The bathrooms look amazing in here too. Everything in here is brand new. Wow, you can skate, come here to skate at any time you want. <laughs> this is something else now. I can't believe there's an ice skating rink inside the shopping mall and everything else. Maybe I'll take a walk around the rink. Oh, 
private event happening to my right. Maybe it's a birthday party or a baby shower. Oh look, we can get a better view of the water park from over here. I don't like how they get these graphics on the window like this. There we go. Everyone here is just peeking out of whatever open space is available. Crazy, there's a artificial beach in here. Well, there's another section of them all over here. There's also a uh, Lunar New Year event soon. The Chinese New Lunar New Year is February 1st. Ladder that chocolate here. I don't even know where I am in the mall anymore. I've just been walking around for the past half an hour. I don't even know if I was in this section of the mall before. These stores don't really seem familiar to me. I think if I looked at a map, It's only one side, unfortunately. Well, I remember Uniqlo. Let's go to the second floor. I think I already explored one, um, one side of the mall. So I'll take the second floor to the other side. I can already see uh, this mall isn't even at full capacity yet. There's still several vacant spaces that they need to fill.
It's good that they have uh, signs pointing towards the New Jersey Transit buses because I know that could be uh, a challenge if you need to find your way back to New York City. There's also the charter buses. I think this section of the mall will have more um, stores and shopping. That other side was geared towards the theme parks and the water parks. American Dream try the park after dark, uh, dark. Reduce pricing with twilight admission. They're pricey um, attractions, that's for sure. I wouldn't recommend going to all of them in the same day. You may want to do one. Okay, look at that over there. That's a lot of natural light with Saks Fifth Avenue clearly in the distance. This section I completely didn't go through yet, the avenue. The New Jersey Transit section is this way. Goodness. It feels majestic in this area. Look at the decor in here, too. I kind of want to come back here during Chinese New Year just to see what it's like. If it's this decorated already. They say there's going to be performances in the mall as well. I'm going to look at the directory very quickly just to make sure I haven't missed anything in this mall. Let's see, uh, okay, I was here, the Nickelodeon, mini golf, 
went this way. Okay, so it's a pretty simple layout. I pretty much covered everything up until this point so far. It's just this section where Saks Fifth Avenue is and that's it. I say that's it, like uh, I'm expecting more from this mall, but <laughs> really this mall has surpassed all my expectations and uh, more. I think the camera is overexposing the light a little bit. It's hard to see the end of the hallway. But it should get better once I get to uh, the lighter areas. Yeah, it's a little bit better now. Dolce and Gabbana, St. Lawrence. There's Saks Fifth Avenue and also a window to look outside. Kind of looks like a Japanese Zen garden down there. And the nice fountain, please do not feed the fish or toss coins. You don't even have to shop to come here. You just come here to people watch and sit down and look at the fountain and go to the uh, food court to get something to eat. So after I'm done going to this side where Carpaccio is, I'm going to walk to the food court section because I know many of you are interested in that the food port area. This looks like a fine dining restaurant. Let's see what the view is from this side. Wonder if we'll be able to see New York City from here. Not much of a view. That way I think is north because the signs there saying it's uh, Fort Lee. Yeah, I don't see New York City from here. But let's go downstairs so I can show you the, uh, the area with the pond and the fountains. And we'll go towards the food court. I think they call it the Coca-Cola Eats. As you can see, this video is probably easily going to be over an hour long. 
and I'm just kind of breezing through all the main areas of this mall. If you're with somebody else and you're going separate ways and trying to coordinate meeting up plus doing shopping, you're going to spend your whole day here easily. Okay, Japanese Zen Garden. I hope, wish people will um, listen to that warning on the ledge there to not be the fish or toss coins in. Both can be very hazardous to the fish, especially if you give them uh, bad food or the coins, they'll eat it and they could die. restaurants now this is kind of unique I should say multi-faced sculptures with plants on top. Very exotic. Also, there's plenty of like Instagram walls over here, even though there's no tenants. You can go take pictures. I wonder if there's water shows here too. Go upstairs to the third floor. This is uh, back to where I started. 
New Jersey Transit bus area. This is such a creative way to use the vacant spaces and promote people to come here by uh, putting up these Instagram walls. There's Primark upstairs. to think that I didn't even go into any other theme parks. Can you imagine if I actually went inside those uh, theme parks or the roller coasters and the water park and the snow air just to report everything? This video will be uh, a lot more in depth. Okay, I think this is the food court area now. I see a bunch of uh, restaurants on this side. They might be also opening another level too. That's all walled off. Well, it's very clean. They're on top of cleaning the food court. Grissini pizza, New York style pizza, $4.69 a slice. A little bit on the pricey side. The salad is a small Caesar salad at $6.99. Large is $8.99. Philly cheesesteak, small $6.49. Thank you. Philly's cheesesteak. Let's try it. It's pretty good, wow. Halal guys coming soon. I think Halal guys will do well here. They were the original um, Halal park in Midtown Manhattan that really started it all. Cajun Grill, $10.49 for one chicken entree and two sides. Yeah, this food court is a little bit pricey. The rent here must be super high though. Japanese. 
Deep Sea Japan, chicken teriyaki, $10.95. It's also Taco Bell. I would think these fast food places will have the most uh, affordable prices for food. Daily Cafe coming soon. There's also Jolly Bee coming soon. Oh, I think this is the top of the big snow. The ski lifts are here. No way, this is the Ferris wheel they're building. Wow. Look at that, there's even sinks here to wash your hands so you don't have to go to the bathroom if you don't need to. $4.99 for a Popeye's chicken sandwich. Hi! Mr. Nian. Noodle House. Doesn't look like they're open now. There's, there's a Wendy's, also a digital kiosk. And Pora Ramen. This is actually a great place to bring children, although it's pricey, especially if you're going to the amusement parks. You have to pay almost the same price for your children as you do for the adults. Pora Ramen. How much is it for ramen here? Uh, oh, this is the drink stand. Or maybe the menu changes. They have bubble tea. Yeah, I don't see the prices here. You probably have to scan it on the menu, and, I mean the QR code, to look at it. Well, there's also haagen on the inside. Ice cream store. Another section of the mall. This uh, section seems a lot quieter. Maybe they're trying to invite more people to come here. More uh, tenants for the food court area. This section of the mall doesn't really seem as developed. Oh, I know why. Because it's overlooking the rink. Down there.
This is pretty cool to see from the top floor. Let's get an unobstructed view without this net. You can just people watch and watch them ice skate all day long if you wanted to. Oh, you can watch the water park from the second floor. There's an unobstructed view there. All right, I'm gonna find a way to go down. Maybe that's where I'll end my video. So this side is under construction. All right, let's go to the second floor. We can see the, uh, the water park a lot easier. I think I saw a escalator on this side. Yes, it's right here. Most sections of this mall are open now, but there's still a lot of vacancies and much more room for this mall to expand. But even with the amount of stuff that they have open already, there's still a lot of stuff to see and do. Oh no! Can we go in the, this way? Employee access only. Darn it. I had a great idea, but... but... It is, yeah. It's so nice. Very small, slender. <laughs> yeah. This, I think, was like $349. Yeah. Where do you buy that from? Uh, Amazon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm a YouTuber. You can see the person on the other side? You can. You can flip it around too, or you could do this. Yeah. Oh, you can't see the, their picture though. Oh, there's a viewfinder. We can see her. Right? Yeah. It's so good. Very nice, bro. Thanks. Check me out. I'm Action Kid on YouTube. Is that who you are? Yeah. Action Kid on YouTube. I go to different places and I do like first person view, like walking around and stuff. It's my first time here. I'm so impressed. Oh my gosh. All right. Yeah. All right, folks. Well, I couldn't go to the water park. I'm going to end my video here. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you had a great time watching it.